What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Blaze video. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you came here to this channel so we can come with our Dragon Blaze stream together because that's why we're here. We're here to get everything done guys. Sorry for the noise in the background. Today is a really big day for Dragon Blaze. We have the new character. We have tons of new patch notes. All that good stuff. I'm going to show you right here on my Discord for my peoples that we have. So right here. June 25, we have new 4th Impact character, we have Prime Summon Bonus, we have new Adventure Dungeon Season 8, which is awesome, it is the new gate, we have Katarina Season 5 Open Improvements, 4th Impact Level exploration, uh, Expansion to 250, we got Book of Heroes Level 6, we have Star Power Level 20, we have your Gaia Equipment and Jury Level Raised, Library of Fate 6th Floor, we have new floors there, we have League Battle Improvement, All User Access Rewards, which uh, you should have gotten that when you logged on, I'm pretty sure. Lots of rubies, lots of surprises there. We have New Returning User Rotation Reward, and then we have Main Event, Victory, Guild Assault, Adventure Sanctuary, and more. So there's a ton of things here, guys. A ton of stuff. So before we get into everything, let's go to the, uh, you go to your adventure here. And what you would do is you go to your map, go to the last one and then here is the new gate so right here nefris gate right here and it tells you the story if you go to the war one it will tell you the story about that so stay tuned to that as well it is a pretty awesome story if you have not seen it yet next we go to once this actually loads up i mean it never really does that All right, it's been it's been a it's, it's been weird. So we're gonna just get onto our Wi-Fi here. And then we're gonna reconnect. Um, next, we're gonna go towards. Well, we'll do the space dungeon later. We're gonna go to our Library of Fate. Now that did reset, by the way. Um, you go to your floors, and you have your level one hundred fifth and sixth floor. I haven't gotten there yet. So hopefully we can get there so I can show you that on video. That is sick. So stay tuned into that. And then also we have your Book of Heroes level six. Ooh, Star of Heroes is ready. I gotta go to that eventually. So Library of Fate, then you go to your Book of Heroes. Actually, I don't even have to really do that. I can just go to my heroes, which we're gonna get the new hero as well in this video as well. So we're going to go to her, we're going to go to Book of Heroes, and obviously your level 6 is here, right there. So obviously you go to level 100, and then you go all the way up. Now she is level 100, I'm going to definitely get all of her books. Just going to go ahead and hand her real quick and see what we can do. And then we'll get more of her books later so we can actually reach up to all the way to level six. So we're definitely going to do that. Your star power has actually raised up as well to a higher level. So make sure you pay attention to that. There's just so much stuff going on today, guys. It is a lot of great stuff going on when it comes to the new update. So make sure you're tuning into all of that. We're going to get the new hero right now as well. Um, you should have gotten a bunch of rubies. I have almost 30k up here. Um, we're probably going to open up some for her. We also have this right here. I'm guessing my points. I'm guessing if you spend, you know, you open up packs, you can probably just get some rewards gained here. Summon point reward. Yeah, so we're definitely going to open up some summons on her at least, you know, because she definitely deserves it. Uh, she's going to be really, really good in PvP. I have tons of things to open up down here as well. We're not going to open that up in the video, of course. But yeah, there's just, there's tons of stuff. New world stuff, Katarina improvements. There are new stuff coming to here as well. Stay tuned to that. I already revealed that in my last video. So new characters coming to this. Um, just so much stuff, guys. So make sure you're paying attention to that. You have your victory arena event, your daily aspiration, your 10 man, which you're gonna do more of. That's done. You have your bingo event. You have your Odyssey assailant times two coins so make sure you're tuned into that and also your adventure sanctuary and then you also have 
you know the new characters line up right here as well for the new rewards so make sure you're doing your daily and weekly so you can make sure you get the stuff that she needs and when you logged in you should have got tons of rewards i got like over three three like three million and then there's a box you get for the new season that's out you get a choice between rubies summons magnifying glasses hidden pages and stuff like that so i've got mostly rubies and summons as that's the correct thing to do so that's pretty awesome but let's go ahead and um let's get the new let's get the new hero though so she is an encanter so let's go ahead and try to get her real fast so we're going to use you use you use you and then go to fourth we're going to use you and i shouldn't need a healer for this uh, at all so we're going to use you shouldn't but we're going to go uh we're going to see if we can get this done real fast We're just gonna skip through all of that. I don't really care about that. I just wanna get the hero. Break her down and all that good stuff. Now, I did reveal that she's mainly gonna be for PvP 10 men. She's gonna be really, really good for that from, from my uh, last resources for my friends. So that's roughly what she should be mostly good at. That is her specialty. So we're gonna uh, dive into her and see what's going on. I'm also gonna go ahead and make her as well. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I can technically open up packs and get her that way, but it's okay. We use the artifacts for a reason. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Ah, ah, no, go back. Oh, I have four. Perfect. Let's go ahead and make her. All right. Let's go ahead and pledge her real quick. Oh, actually, I'm on third impact. Let's use third. Remove you. Now, that, now remember, level 100 will unlock the third slot for that so that they can get powered up even higher. Okay. All right. So let's go to her skills. Details. Obviously, arena. Encanter magic DPS. Transcendent skills should be the same. Actually, they look a little different. We'll break those down later, though. But first, let's go into preview. Not preview. Let's go to it. It's been a while since I've actually did this. There we go. Preview skills. All right. Sorry for all the noises. I usually, do, I usually do this in the back room. It says, attack one enemy and nearby enemies and increase magic attack upon normal attacks. 10th phase for 3.5 seconds. That's quite good. 10th phase is high, and the fact that she's AoE, she's hitting everybody, that's going to be really, really beneficial for PvP and anything outside of that. That's actually quite good. The first ability, it says, type, it says, inflicts 3,718% uh, skill damage on all enemies. 12.4 seconds cooldown. So let's see why. It says specialty cast uh, hip or was it hop effect on yourself and all enemies. 12th phase, which is the highest phase in the game, I believe. Um, <laughs> hippity hop. <laughs> all right, so hippity has, has, has three effects. The first one says remove all buffs from all enemies, ignore uh, ignores immunes and evasion, immunities and evasion, which is super important. Remember, that kind of stuff is important that she ignores all of that. So regardless, it's going to fall off. That's pretty, pretty powerful. Definitely respect that kind of effect. It is really, really strong. Um, the second effect, it says, inflicts an additional... Uh, inflict additional damage equal to 10% of their max HP. Ignores invasion, including bosses. So that's fine. That's a really, really good effect. The third one says converts the damage you take into recovering your HP for five seconds. Keep in mind, any damage you take is quite silly. 
So just keep that in mind when you're playing with her. That's actually very, 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 very powerful. The second effect is it says inflicts 4,056% uh, 4, uh, skill damage on random enemies six times, cooldown 15.6 seconds. Let's see why. Specialty, cast dollhouse effect on all enemies, 12th phase for four for 4.8 seconds, ignore evasion, excluding boss types. Dollhouse, effect one, cast stun. Again, any kind of effect like that that allows you to stun anybody is insane. We don't get too many of those in the game that stuns. So that's very, very meaningful that she does that. And in effect two, removes buffs every 1.2 seconds. That's a very short amount of time for 1.2 seconds. That's, that, that's very, very meaningful and very powerful. Like, that's, that's stupid good. And then the last effect is um, signature skill. Upon charge of 100% energy, buff. Cast an effect that lets all allies uh, receive one damage from all enemy attacks for up to 10 hits, 12th phase for 10 seconds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reread that. Buff, cast an effect that lets all allies receive one damage from all enemies for up attacks for up to 10 hits, 12th phase for 10 seconds. Bro, that is the stupidest thing I've seen so far in this game. Up to 10 hits for 10, dude, 10 seconds is a long time if you don't understand that. It is a long time. That is beyond silly, beyond silly. Like, oh, she's going to be so broken. Um, specialty 1 inflicts 18,252% skill damage on all enemies, which is an incredible amount of damage. And then the, and then the uh, second one is cast Mr. Bunny effect on all enemies. 12th phase ignores immunities and evasion, excluding bosses. So, we're going to go to her effects and passives and stuff now. Uh, that's, that's quite st stupid, to be honest. Um... Let's see, this one. So we're not on personal passives, that right, right? We're not on regular attacks. Okay, so here we go. So, Mr. Bunny Effect. Okay, so Mr. Bunny Effect at the bottom. The effect one says remove all buffs. Effect two, it says block skill cast and death trigger skills for five seconds, which is kind of stupid because we have a lot of those in the game. That's amazing. Mr. Bunny Effect three, block revival and skills that casts. Um, revives upon death for five seconds that's also really good wow this person is broken as hell oh my oh my oh my lord she's, she's so so insane and then the fourth one says cast instant death on all enemies warriors death builders and rogues after one second so to be clear here she's going to be like the most one of the most powerful pvp characters we've seen and just outside of that like she is she is definitely beyond strong and i really hope people invest time in her i'm definitely going to as well um she's 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 just she's insane just let's just get it like that um it's wild how how powerful she is and i can't wait to see what she does so on that note we're gonna go over to the passives and see what she can do uh, as far as that goes. All right, so passive is quite a bit, so we're gonna have to dabble down the that and see what we can do. The dream effect says so summon skill. Um, it says summon, uh, summoning skill, specialty. Summons Mr. Bunny upon entering the battlefield. Mr. Bunny abilities. Normal attacks inflict 6,760 damage upon one enemy and 2,704% damage upon nearby enemies. Skill attack inflicts 10,140 skill damage on damage and cast lucid dream on all enemies. Cooldown 10.1 seconds for Fourth phase for 4.5 seconds. Passive one enters the battlefield with all skills ready to use, regardless of their cooldowns, which is good because we don't have a lot of warriors like that in the game. Let me tell you one. 
that's actually really really potent that we have something like that for one and then secondly it says uh, passive 2 inflicts additional damage equal to 10% of their maximum health HP uh, ignores evasion excluding boss types lucid dream effect 1 remove all buff effects and cast stun on all enemies ignoring immunities and evasion excluding boss types which is great lucid dream effect 2 cast an effect that lets all allies receive 1 damage from all attacks up to 5 hits which is great because her ultimate does 10 and then lucid dream effect 3 cast immunity effect against debuffs and physical damage on all allies encounters and mages so that's going to be very very useful for that kind of lineup that kind of tells us what lineup we need to have with her off gate because that's basically what we need so that's a hit right there just in itself that's actually quite powerful right there sorry for all the noises i'm actually in the back room recording this video so i usually do it uh on break but i want to do it now because this is a very important information to get out there it says rabbit hole passive personal passive increase uh, sta by 1217 percent and becomes immune to instant death attacks 12th phase which is pretty good personal passive 2 upon attacking an enemy cast an effect that uh, prevents all enemies from using active skills when hit 12th phase for two seconds ignoring immunities and evasion excluding bosses goodness like this um yeah she's gonna be probably the best pvp uh player for sure i would be surprised if she might get banned somewhere because i thought odin was going to be the person that gets banned a lot he didn't get banned too much but she's she's just beyond broken like i, I know i said that a couple times but man it's just it's just silly i like or increase nit by 456 percent and magic attack by 1825 percent Type 2 class passive mage encounter uh, aura increased NIT by 608% and magic attack by 2434%. So that's quite good. Um, wow, she's quite insane. Quite, quite, quite good. And the uh, illusion barrier. It says, uh, type arena, league battle, guild takeover, all that stuff. Personal passive increase NIT by 2,434% and STA by the same percentage. Personal passive 2 inflicts 7,436% additional skill damage on all enemies upon normal attacks. Ally or increase main stats by 1,217%, magic attack by 4,467%, additional random damage by 2,000. 434% enemy aura increased received magic damage by 1217% uh, and received ma range damage by the same percentage I just read so that's quite powerful and then last but not least let's get to her uh, her last savior which is basically her last um, ability And it says type 1 affinity passive, personal passive, increased magic attack by 627%. Uh, specialty upon using hippity hop, hippity hop effect cast on all enemies become 13 phase, which is really high. That's quite silly. And then type 2 aura, uh, league battle, go take over passive, personal passive increases the NIT by 270%. So, um, what do I think about her? Um, she's quite insane. She's gonna be probably the most played PvP, uh, PvP person. It's gonna be insane the things that she's gonna do. Um, I cannot wait to see her do broken things in PvP, guys. She is amazing. But that is definitely video for today, guys. It's getting super loud in here, and we're done. Until next time guys, I will see you for the next one.